thank you to our friends at Aditya Ayurveda Colombo. Now give a gift of wellness for 2024. I'm telling you, if you're planning on just becoming a better you, there's a place where the secrets of Anuradhapura has been brought in with their flagship brand that sells so high there, has brought in their finesse to Colombo. So why don't you come check out? They also have some amazing gift vouchers that you can buy and a perfect gift for a great start of the year. Danu on fire, powered by Celeste Day. Missing something? She's Celeste. I just say it. It's done on fire and this is my first shoot for this year, although it's not the first show on air. I'm super happy to have the one and only, always so gorgeous and well put together, Rosie Serenai. Oh. Thank you, Danu. Happy Thank you for you. I didn't realize that I was like the first yeah, yeah. guest on Danu on fire. I wanted a home and company kind of a person. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm your old. <laughs> I'm from long <laughs> years ago. Far from it. But thank you for being here. I'm super happy you're here. And coincidentally, Rosie was supposed to take a break from all this rushing that she does every day of her life and go and enjoy some me time at Aditya. Yeah. And she's like, I think I'm supposed to go for this tomorrow. tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> but now that's not happening. She's mm. postponed it a little bit. But good. Now that you have at least had a, mm, let's say, a basic start to the yes, journey. Yes, I know. Yeah. So tell me, you you know, you are the type, even if there's nothing to do, you'll find something to do. No? Yep. Has it always been your thing? Mm, I don't know. It's just that not that I find something to do. There's so much to do. And I feel that I don't have enough time. Now, this is one of my closest friends. My best friend decided to take me mm -hmm. for a whole week, actually, on this retreat yeah. to Aditya. And uh, of course, I couldn't find the time. So she says they had insisted that it's a minimum of three days mm. to Andhra Because she knew if I was here and if I was going to get any treatment from here, that will never happen. So she wanted to, like, she was very worried about my health and that I was putting on weight. So she decided and she booked me in from tomorrow till the 8th. And now it's not happening because mm. my mother is not feeling well. Yeah. Well, you know, challenges, but I'm sure your mum will recover. Yeah, but I'm, I was looking forward to going yeah. on this. Because, I know. Yeah. You told me like last month yeah, about and so this. I'm so happy that I'm here right now, at least, having a taste of. Yeah. Rosie's mum is a fan, of her, a fan of me. Yes. So, I, I like so her. I'm <laughs> hoping that she will get well soon. Yes, she will. So, let's, uh, let's speak about you these days. What keeps you busy? My grandchildren keeps me busy for sure. That's, that's I have two good. granddaughters yeah. and uh, of course work, you know, it never stops. When you're a politician, like, you know, people keep calling you, asking for, you know, help on various um, subjects. Uh, then there are from funerals to, you know, you have to attend to a lot of their weddings. needs, weddings. And mostly I would say funerals. <laughs> and that's when you take the Colombo district, it ends at the bottom of Avisavel uh, to Kasbev to, you know, Morototo. So mm. it's like, those things also do keep me busy. And uh, most importantly, I must say, people keep calling me when they need, uh, when they have issues with regards to, you know, whether it's their drainage, their roads, or to cut a tree, or, you know. Like basic life. Like, yes, you basic know. life. Uh, and things. we may think, you know, what are these things they're bothering? Actually, there's huge problems, and sometimes no. to get it sorted. Absolutely, Dhanu. Now, every year when I was mayor, I used to give uh, books to the underserved community mm. for their children. 
uh, uh, entire package of books, you know, depending on the class, we would, you know, mm. basically grade the classes and according to their needs. And then we used to give them shoes, uh, uniforms and all kinds of things. So that was not happening now that we are not in the council. Uh, then for every festive season, whether it's Deepavali, Christmas or Vesak, Hoson, or uh, Ramadan, we give the mosques, the temples, the churches, um, you know, some money to do up their churches and temples and mosques and uh, kobils for that particular festival. So that was also not happening. So people keep calling and asking, you know, aren't we going to get any mm. aid, assistance? So, yeah. And then what I do is I get, since I'm not in the council anymore and we don't have uh, the facilities to support them through the council, so I get a lot of um, my personal friends from outside uh, who are uh, very kind enough to like you know support people during Christmas also. I had a few friends who supported me in helping people mm. um, during these difficult times, including churches. And it's it's something uh, something that I want to ask you was this: they say when you get into like when you get in or when you keep that first step in politics, you can never come back. You're always a politician. You're always a public figure. Yeah. And people like say for an example, if you're built. Uh, a certain amount of trust among the people, then they think that, you know, you may not be holding a position, but they think that, okay, I mean, I get endless requests for financial assistance, saying that their children are uh, not doing well, starving, books, this, that. So you are constantly uh, having to support them. You can't just turn your, I mean, mm. till I die, I'll be doing this. And I love doing it. For me, uh, showing empathy and compassion was one of the reasons why I got into politics. And uh, if I can't support, uh, you know, people who I need, when you say need now, right now also you'll find a lot of the youth are calling me and asking me, uh, can I go to Israel? Can I get a job overseas? Can you support me? And if I have a link and a line to helping them, I would step out and, you know, do mm. that. I'm not the kind of person who says that that's not my job and I can't do it. So, just to create the connection so that yeah. so they if can I, find a way I out. mean, God has placed me in a, in, a, in a very privileged position to where I could pick up a phone and, you know, ask for support from, whether it's, you know, from a ministry, minister, or perhaps the private sector, friends. And um, why don't I use that mm. to help somebody? So I do that. And that's, those are the things that keeps me busy most of the time, I would say. Now the Rosie we know is the Rosie who is always well put together, and who is who you know who is very I'm never well put together. <laughs> I am a real daddy bitty case. No, most but of the that daddy bitty case is what keeps like what yeah. you when you when you when you arrive you have arrived. You know, there's a statement. But you know, I I think I told you a long time ago there was a photograph that really made me like tear up. It was of your second daughter. Uh, she was sleeping on your lap, and you were like petting her head. Mm. Uh, when you were the mayor and it was just like a at a tea party or whatever but I thought to myself you know a lot of people will never see that side to you yeah. they'll not even it's hard for them to picture that side to you yeah. end of the day your first role is as a mum and yeah. how has it been bringing up three you know, kids uh, people always have seen me say for an example the public have seen me in those either glamorous roles mm. or you know walking the streets doing politics or on the streets you know, fighting for women's rights or, you know, political rights or uh, human rights. Um, I've, I've done it all, actually, you know. I have gone on protest marches. I have faced tear gas. Uh, I have fallen on the road frothing. Um, you know, we have also, f uh, you know, faced rubber pellets. Though I didn't physically, you know, get hit, but my yeah. colleagues have got hit. Um, I've, I've done it all. But people see that side of me, but people don't see the, the motherly mm. side of me. And that's like a person who comes home. Yeah. yeah. You know, but that, I mean, I'm, 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 I don't know, you have to ask my children exactly what kind of mother I am. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm very, uh, I would say I have that motherly instincts when it comes to even uh, children outside uh, the home. Mm. Uh, but for me, I think my primary role is to be the best mother for my kids because God has loaned these three children to me and he's given me the responsibility of raising them so that was my uh, first uh, priority and primary objective uh, then I'm a mother to the rest of the country 
but it's yeah. uh, quite strict Sunday mass and all she yeah, bangs yeah, the door until the door, yeah, door yeah, breaks that open. they have to you know for me <laughs> because that's what you know when you have instilled right values whether it's religious values or cultural values or you know basically ethics and values uh, in a child that child can't go wrong and for me uh, religion is very important. It doesn't matter which religion we belong to. We need to basically make sure that our children, whether you're a Buddhist, a Hindu, a Muslim, or a Christian, be um, honest to what we believe in, and you know, abide by those principles and uh, guidelines. And then you can never go wrong. So, the fear of God is what keeps you, like you know, uh, wanting to do um, things for humanity, to live correct, and you know. So for us, living according to the Bible and living according to what Jesus has preached is very important. So yeah, I want my children to have that so yeah. they have no... Uh, One way or the other, they are opening yeah, but, that you door. Know, I'm, I'm happy to say that like right now, Tisaki and Shalaka, uh, they were very instrumental in you know, setting up um, a, a new church that was uh, set up in uh, Colombo. Mm. And uh, they are so very focused and they are like me, like when I was young and I was so involved with the church, whether it was the youth and you know, uh, everything that the church did. They are now very involved, so I can see them, like you know, they take the baby and the mm. baby is also sitting there uh, in the Sunday school, so yeah, happy to see that. Amazing. We are going to take a break, we are going to come back with more, do stick around because this is just our first course and we need to sort of begin to see what Thank you to our friends at Aditya Ayurveda Colombo. Now give a gift of wellness for 2024. I'm telling you, if you're planning on just becoming a better you, there's a place where the secrets of Anuradhapura has been brought in with their flagship brand that sells so high there, has brought in their finesse to Colombo. So why don't you come check out? They also have some amazing gift vouchers that you can buy and a perfect gift for a great start of the year. Danu on fire, powered by Celeste Daly. Missing something? She's a Celeste. I just say it. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, we're going through the new year with a lot of people coming in and talking to us about health. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You also met somebody uh, because you know you like this place so much. I'm giving you a gift, and this is not a box of chocolates. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh. You you, you get a this chance is from to here? yeah from here. You can experience more of this place. Hmm. Yeah. I'm so happy since I was not able to, <laughs> I'm not able to go tomorrow, at yeah. least I could come here. Definitely. Thank you, Dhamma. I shall make it a date, I'll also join you, so you know. Yes. Um, I met this young charming doctor. Yeah, she's... And yeah, she's, she's basically enticed me. Anyway, <laughs> I was going to go to Anuradhapura, so now that I know that... You could have just told that I enticed you to come here, Rosie. Yes. I really need some brownie I, points to yes. keep the sponsorship alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you enticed me, you ah, enticed right. me to come and do the show ah, here. Right. And uh, yeah. Remember the root cause. Yes. Now I wanted to ask you, you were born, you, 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 your family has how many siblings? I know one of them passed away. It's my sister Sandra. Yeah. So I have, uh, I had three sisters, now I have two sisters and two brothers. Brothers. In this big family, mm. when you became, you went out there and became the public yeah. figure and like, how were the others? Were they the, were they the shy type or were they also no, so like... You know, even me, I'm an introvert if you actually... Uh, yeah, all I'm of us who are extroverts are yes, introverts. Yes, this is because, you know, this is like a persona that you put on because you have been thrown into certain um, uh, functions and mm. then you like, you know, have to do it. But if I can curl up and stay at home and like, you know, not want to meet anyone, I, that would be my ideal place. Yeah. My ideal place is to stay at home, uh, spend time with my grandchildren, to sit with my kids, chat with them. Uh, so we are all introverts. My family, including my children, they don't like the limelight. They would not come anywhere. You'll never see them oh, yeah. in the public. And even to bring them in, you yes. have to bribe them with, I don't know what, they'll yes. never come. Yeah. So it's, it's one of those things, I think it's in the genes where... Uh, 
it's just that because I won a title and then I was thrown into the public eye and then I had to force myself to be there. Yeah, but people think that I'm like an extrovert, but I'm not actually. So when you were going up, the three girls, were you all always the heartthrob of the neighborhood? Like, who you had know, the most really, amount of attention? Because we were in boarding schools and then I went <laughs> to um, even look London when I was 18. So, yeah, in London, of course, yeah, they were like... Yeah. Admirers, yeah. Mm. But I must and say, and then I came back married, so uh, I didn't have that experience of like to yes. being. Yeah. But the three sisters, who who got the most attention? I think all of us would have got the same amount of attention. Uh, I would say the prettiest is my younger sister, and then the one who passed away. They had like you know my sister who passed away had blue eyes. We all have light eyes. Yeah. So I think we all. But you all are very close. Very close. And Our family is a very close knit yeah. family. And we die for each that. other, we'll fight, we'll do all that. But when it comes to like, you know, if somebody's in trouble or somebody's, you know, we fight for each other. And I want my kids also to be like mm. that, to be, you know, so united. Where, and that's what family is all about. When, when your sibling passed away, you know, I always wonder, like, mm. how is that feeling? Because, you know, person who you your womb mate yeah so it's it's not easy even to date there isn't a single day that I don't think about her uh, so I lost my father I lost Atula uh, then I lost of course uh, my sister Sandra uh, now Atu there are times when I sit and talk to him and I'm automatically like you know like set an example when I see the little my granddaughter doing something I say Atu can you see what she's doing so I'm hoping that you know he's somewhere there mm -hmm up in heaven and watching and you know, uh, he can see what they're doing. So I talk to him and like, uh, if I'm troubled, if I'm distressed, I just talk to him and say, you know, uh, life is not easy without uh, you mm. and you know, things like that. It's not easy when you... Uh, like how was his support system, especially during politics? Because you know, he had to share you with the world. He had. Yeah, he was also one of those people who never came out mm. in public. A lot of people didn't even know what my husband looked like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I've had uh, experiences where, like, you know, tax collectors have gone into his office and asked for a bribe to, you know, uh, reduce his uh, tax and whatever, not realizing they're talking to the mayor's <laughs> husband. It was seriously, these are serious issues. You know, I could have gone out, I was able to go out and do politics or whatever I did, whether it was empowering women, uh, supporting people. I was like a chandia out there because I had a support system, okay. because I had somebody behind me uh, covering my back, whether it was financially, uh, all the security I needed, taking care of the home front, all that. Atula was such a strength. And sometimes you take people for granted. And this is why I'm just telling everyone who's watching this, never take your closest and dearest for granted because you actually realize the value of these people only when they are gone. Mm. And um, yeah, I miss him a lot because he was everything. And um, life hasn't been the same. And it'll never be the same. It'll never be the same. Even the kids miss him. He was a good father. He was a good husband. He was a good support system for Very me to funny. go. Good sense of yeah. it. And you know, I'm yet to meet such an intelligent man like him. He's, he was very intelligent. Uh, he had so many, he was very creative, very intelligent. Um, of course, that also comes from uh, the lineage, you know, mm. his grandparents, mother, father, all that. All right, so we need to take a break because we have got muffins made out of oats. Mm. That looks yummy. Yeah, we need to like learn these recipes. We'll come back with more. Do stick around. This you and I need fire. to learn these yeah. recipes. Yeah. Thank you to our friends at Aditya Ayurveda Colombo. Now give a gift of wellness for 2024. I'm telling you, if you're planning on just becoming a better you, there's a place where the secrets of Anuradhapura has been brought in with their flagship brand that sells so high there has brought in their finesse to Colombo. So why don't you come check out? They also have some amazing gift vouchers that you can buy and a perfect gift for a great start of the year. 
Danu on fire, powered by. Celeste Daly, missing something? She's Celeste. I just say it. Welcome back to the show, our final segment with one and only Rosie Serenayaka. Now, uh, we've been talking about a lot of things, but I'll tell you, I've known her uh, for a very long time since I even stepped into television. She was the person who I used to like admire. When she walks into the makeup room, there is a statement already made. Um, she had this very specific uh, powder color that she used to use because she's lighter than all of us put together. So um, there's to be that kept aside. And eventually, I ended up hosting a Wednesday morning show with her mm -hmm. for like a few weeks, and it was. You know, there's always it was something. Delightful. Yeah, it was so different <laughs> because you know we were just we were so young and yeah. we were so scared to like sit. So was I. We yeah. twenty years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I have this birthmark here, and I used to always cover it. And one day, one before the show, Rosie's like, "What is? Why? What are you doing?" I said, "I'm covering this." Because every day when it used to be live shows, they used to call and ask whether you got burnt, have mm. you removed your girlfriend's name, nobody knew everything about me, you know, those days. So I'm like, no, it's a birthmark. She said, just forget about it, just go cool as you are. So ever since then, I've never covered it. I'm yeah. happy that you're not covering it. So I'm told that it's luck. Mm -hmm. To have a birthmark. Yeah. I'm having the heel luck these days. We'll see where the luck yes. comes in. But Let's yes. hope 2024 is going to be a luck. Definitely. Day. So I've known her for so long, and um, and it's like, you know, she, like home and company. It's always a wonderful feeling. Mm -hmm. But one thing about you is Rosie. There is, I don't know, you will go from one to the other to the other to the other, and yet make sure you have something to tell at everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, that's I believe that's a gift that. There are times when I walk on a stage and I really haven't planned anything. anything. I don't know what I'm doing, why I've come there or whatever. Where you are. And it's a gift that God mm. has given me. And just I have gone together. on talk shows, uh, on debates. I get prepared for one thing, but then the debate turns into something, something else. But then, you know, it's like divine wisdom. And one of your brilliant speeches in the parliament was about the education system, yeah. where you spoke about the amount of institutes and what they're actually providing and what are, I remember because you called so many of us, us as well, asking yeah. about the institutions that were there. Yeah. Yeah. I do a lot of research before I um, start speaking. But it's, yeah, I, you have to read a lot. Especially when you're in politics, you need to know what you're talking about. You may be a, a, a specialist in one particular subject, but you need to have at least a basic understanding about the overall picture of, you know, how to deal with um, humanity and current uh, affairs and situations that people are going through and what is prevailing at the moment. And for me, you know, Danu, more than being a politician, you can be the king, the president, the prime minister, ministers or whoever, be the most powerful person, a religious leader that people, you know, venerate and whatever. But if you don't have the basic uh, thing that God would ask us to be is to, you know, the greatest commandment when one of the, uh, the uh, prophets asked uh, Lord Jesus Christ, what is the greatest commandment out of the Ten Commandments? He said the greatest commandment is love thy neighbor as you love thyself. Yeah, so if you don't have empathy and if you don't feel for people, then you're not fit to be in politics. And you, you should not be in politics to, for the sake of um, doing politics. You have to feel for people. You have to you know, understand their issues. And uh, so empathy to me is that's what I teach my kids. I tell my kids, train your children also to have to love others and to be able to share, give. No matter what you have, that little, just share. And you know, you will be blessed. Don't think of tomorrow. Just make sure that you know you help others uh, who are in need. And that's the fundamental of life, in my opinion. Mm. I believe that we are not, you know, brought in here. We are not born just to you know, serve ourselves and to be selfish, self-centered and you know, uh, to basically work around us and our family and that's mm. it. Cause that's what I see society is becoming right now. No, we are here to serve humanity. We are here to help our neighbors, to help people who are in need. And um, that's lacking in the past. Our doors were always open. 
you know, even in our homes, mm. our doors were never closed. We didn't have to ring a doorbell to go to mm. somebody's house. Our parents' house, the doors were wide open. Only when, you know, we were going to sleep, mm. the, the people in the house would go and like, you know, close the doors. And I, I see that that's lacking today. You know, even when people see people in need, their hearts don't move. Their hearts are very like, you know, stoned. Mm. And today, especially today, in today's context, we are, uh, we're going through such a rough time, a, a difficult time. People need to, you know, basically think of others as well. So that's very important. Yeah. Well, how we treat people. It's important. It's a hard, hard thing. Because I think in this, in this industry that we are in, um, well, I am in, I have seen all sorts of things. And I'm sure you would have seen yeah. worse, in, especially when you were in the big house. It's dominated by men and, yeah. and from all walks of life. And, you know, f fighting for respect, leave alone anything. Yeah is such a hard thing. I don't know how you have done all of this, I'm telling you. Yeah, so you know, we are to understand human dignity is something that is absolutely important to every hum human being. No matter which caste, creed, race, religion you belong to, everybody deserves dignity and respect. So that is something that we need to step out and give. You know, you should not be like, you know, thinking that, okay, I am, uh, this is my caste, this is my creed, this is my race, this is my religion. So therefore, you know, we live in our own little cocoon and think that, you know, we are more superior to others. That should not be because God is no respecter of man. This is all his creation. Everybody is a creation of uh, God. That's how I see life. And um, if I am to serve God, then I need to, you know, help his creation. Amazing. All right. We need to wrap things up on that good note. So she's a grandma, she's a mom, yes. she's uh, a world icon, she's so many things. She even has a um, citizenship that was given as an honorary citizenship mm, to another country. Seoul, yes, from Korea. Wow, she can just move to Korea at any time. <laughs> Not to North, South. <laughs> just, so <laughs> no, that, no way, yes. just so that we know. North Korea, I'm sure they must be dishing it out and people are saying no. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you so very much for being here, Rosie, Thank as you always. for inviting me. I'm so happy I that love, I yes. I love that I'm here uh, today, and I'm eating all these healthy yes, foods as well. Even the dessert looks very healthy. Yeah, it's kurakang. Yeah. Kurakang and mango and mm. There's mango, there's strawberry, magic as well. Yeah. Well, on that note, we need to wrap things up. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We will see you soon. Till then, keep smiling. To our friends at Aditya Ayurveda Colombo. Now give a gift of wellness for 2024. I'm telling you, if you're planning on just becoming a better you, there's a place where the secrets of Anuradhapura has been brought in with their flagship brand that sells so high there, has brought in their finesse to Colombo. So why don't you come check out? They also have some amazing gift vouchers that you can buy and a perfect gift for a great start of the year. Danu on fire, powered by Celeste Daily. Missing something? Just Celeste.